Jake Moss, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, today started off good. Um, actually, I felt good because I went for a ride yesterday, and um, that's where I've been struggling. And the other tracks open, so I got a little bit of hard pack practice, and just you know, got a good qualifying position, only like a second off first, which was which was really good for me. And usually I'm like three or four, and um, been struggling with that. And crappy start actually in the first one, and just still rode really good though. I worked all the way up to I think it was seventh or sixth, maybe. You know, probably passed about ten dudes on a one line track, which was good. And um, the second one. I felt like I was the fastest out there. I um, just took a little bit too long to get around Todd because um, we're good mates and, you know, Coppins was in front of him and I don't want to stuff the championship up because I know how that feels and kind of want Todd to win just because he's my mate. So I've um, been too nice to him there and end up getting around him and tried catching Coppins but uh, it was just too late. And uh, the last one, same thing, just... Uh, Worked, I think I was about eight and worked all the way up past uh, Marmont and man, Billy, I just took probably five laps, I think it took me to get around him and that's how one line it was and like Billy's, it was only his first race and I knew he would have had arm pump and struggling and he had some big moments and I ended up capitalising on it and getting past him and it was too late. Um, damage was already done by Collins and charged hard for a few laps and caught up for four seconds um, but it just wasn't enough. Actually, I've only had one good race at Coonabarabin and then here. All the rest have been really pathetic on my behalf. And just new trainer and new attitude and training so hard. And I think it's just paying off. I'm getting a lot stronger in my left shoulder, which has been letting me down. All my crashes have been where my, shoulder, my arms have been coming off the handlebar and just high siding. So, you know, just putting all the puzzles together. And, you know, I so want to get back to America one day and just got to keep training hard and just uh, let it come to me. Yeah, definitely. Love the track so much. Fast, suits me. Hopefully it's a little bit more ruddier than today. And, um, you know, my Honda goes so good through the ruts. It just turns perfect. I love it. And, um, you know, I just, yeah, just do a little bit, bit of homework when I get home and hopefully come out swinging. Put your hands together, Metal Pro Suzuki rider Todd Waters! Yeah. Alrighty, Mr. Waters, so in terms of a championship, you're back out to a 12 point difference between you and uh, Josh Hopkins, but on today's result, you, you can seem super happy. Yeah, you know, first moto was a, it was a good one, I got a win, and uh, as soon as the track started getting slick, I just struggled a little bit. Just just coming from the wrong time of practice and um, you know got to give it to Mossy and to Josh hey they rode unreal today and didn't really have anything for them you know it's uh, when the track got beat up I struggled a little bit but <clears throat> hands down got to give it to Jay and the team you know they're doing the best they can and a little disappointed I felt like I let them down a little bit today in those last couple of races but um, you know we got second on the box you know got to be half happy I guess but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to next two races, two rounds, and um, hopefully get the points lead back down. It's, it's been like a yo-yo, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I'm, in, I'm really enjoying it. You know, I get it down to one point and then it's straight back up to 10 again. So uh, hopefully it comes down to the last race. You know, it's um, looking forward to it. So what's more are you gonna be like for you? It's pretty ruddy, yeah? Yeah, as long as there's something grippy and uh, you know, something to turn off, I'm, I ride really well. It's just that real slick, uh, no ruts on the corner. I, I kind of struggle a little bit with, so. Um, it's it's fine, you know, more E, I like more E, and uh, it's got some jumps and some things you can scrub on, so it, it should be fun. And your winner overall today and the man who retains the red plate. Put your hands together. He's retiring at the right by age of 95. How about a CDR Yamaha rider, Josh Coppins? All right, Josh, a couple of number one plates. I know it's pretty tough for you to come to the podium when you've got to get a red plate and there's not a number one to go with it, huh? Yeah, no, it's always tough like, when you have to just stand up here with the other guys. But, um, yeah, it's nice to stand up here and win it. The whole shot in that, in that last motor, I said to Ben Townley, like, if, 
Josh gets a hole shot in this one, it's going to be pretty much over from the end of the first lap. You, you, get, you got that hole shot and you really just chipped away at it and got a good solid lead and rode consistently. Huh? Well, I heard you guys talking about who was going to get the hole shot and I didn't ever mention it, so uh, I thought it's time I better get one and um, I heard everyone else mentioned, but uh, so yeah, I got a bit massive one, it was pretty cool. You better blame Townley for that, he said we can't back you, that way, you know, he was trying to help you out. I let him off, he had to back his, back his teammate, but you could have looked after me. Yeah, I probably could have, couldn't I? It's so hard to get good help nowadays, though, isn't it? Yeah, there's, uh, I get good help from CDR, Yamaha, I'm really thankful for their support this weekend. Jason. Great segue, wasn't it? Sorry, yeah, that was fantastic, sorry. <laughs> Jason, my mechanic, and, and Decker, and uh, Gary, and uh, Dwayne, just everyone in the team working hard, and I want to say big thanks to them, and also to Dunlop, and uh, Fox, and everyone that helps out. This one's going to end probably at that last moto at Coolum, isn't it? Same as last year. Or better than last year, I hope. Yeah, obviously better for you, but you know, this whole championship, I would say, last moto at Coolum this year is probably going to be the one where it's going to be decided. Well, yeah, I, I'm trying to work hard on not doing that, but um, so is Todd, and he's riding great. So, um, yeah, and Suzuki working hard, but uh, we just got to work that a little bit harder. Do you feel a bit like the monkey's off the back now? You've sort of you've made that decision. You, you've let everybody know that. Yep, I'm not coming back next year. And now you can just focus on getting this done. Yeah, definitely. Because a lot of people would ask me, and I felt like I was kind of lying to them because I, I knew what my plans were after the break, and I couldn't talk talk about it. So uh, I wanted to get it out in the open and uh, get on with things. Get the tractor time back up. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some work for Yamaha, so um, I'll be back at the races and uh, yeah, maybe in the tower with you sometimes. Fantastic to hear that. <laughs> Look out, BT is coming for your job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. CDR Yamaha rider, Josh Coppins. We'll get all these guys up here now. Third place, Jake Moss. Second place, Todd Waters. And your winner overall today and the man who retains the red plate. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Josh Coppins. Yeah, look, today was a good day. Both Lawson, Lawson qualified fastest and Josh was second fastest. So, you know, you can't ask for a better start than that. It just puts everything on the right foot straight away. Uh, Lawson, I must say in the first two races, Josh and Lawson didn't get the best of starts, so Lawson had to come through from mid-pack, made his way up into two solid sort of fifth, sixth place rides, which was good. Josh, uh, same here. Josh always struggles in the shorter races because of his 20 years in Europe, he's long used to those longer motos, so those first two sort of sprint races are difficult for him, so the, the, the mandate for him in those two races is just get solid finishes. And as you can see in the last one, he pulled a great hole shot and just let it from start to finish. And just, I think he won the race by eight seconds. And just that's his style of riding when it gets like that. So all in all, happy. We uh, lost a few points recently to Waters. And now we just pushed it back out to 12 points. So going into Moree, very confident. Josh won Moree last year. And uh, it's not dissimilar to the surface of here. And you can see Josh likes these hard pack, sort of loamy kind of surfaces. And... Uh, our bike is working fantastic at the moment, even both our riders said that, we've got the thing brilliant. We actually haven't touched the thing for two races, which is always a good sign. So we're going into Moree, as I said, very confident. Lawson's moved up into third in the championship too, after the uh, disappointment for Anderson crashing the day and missing out on a complete moto. So that now we're a solid first and a, a very solid third, so it's been a good year so far, touch wood. Josh just announced his uh, retirement, official now, so... Yeah, it no, only took him 35 years, um, but uh, no, he's, uh, for, you know, like, it, it, to be 35 years of age and having 20 till 17 years, I think he said, in Europe at a high level, competing in 600 odd, uh, what do you say, six, 600 or, or something professional motos and only 200 Grand Prix. So, you know, it's been a pretty decorated career. He's uh, been runner-up two times in the World Championship. Should have won one of them. And, um, you know, finished runner-up in the Championship here in Australia last year. He's won British Championships. He's won New Zealand Championships. So the guys, you know, will go down in history as one of the greats. And uh, we hope we can continue to work together in the future in some way between the two Yamahas, Yamaha Australia and Yamaha New Zealand. We hope that we can synergize our, our race teams a little bit more and work closer together. Yeah, well, you know, you always get those special ones that come through now and then, and Josh is certainly one of those. You know, he's uh, he's really looked after himself. He's, he, he trains well. He recovers himself well. He looks after himself with dietitians and physios, and he's got a good group of people around him. So no wonder he's had a long, fruitful career because I've just, I haven't known him that much, but, you know, the last, we've only been together for two, this is the second year. So we both have said to each other, the only disappointing thing is that we haven't spent more time at this level together, working together, because I think he likes working with me and I certainly like working with him, so it's been a privilege.